All right, guys. I think everybody already knows what time it is. Just in case you didn't know. Damn. It's that time of year. And, of course, we're going to go check out the truck. And pretty much what I'm doing today, we got to get those numbers off. Go to find and see if they got what I'm looking for. Get those numbers off. Put my numbers on there. Y'all already know who it is. Same channel as always. Mainly, I was going over my entire truck, looking at all of the wiring on everything, seeing if everything is put together good. Everything works without any problems. I'm probably going to replace some tires back here on the back. I wanted to check this to make sure that that's in good condition. All of these are in good condition. None of them broke. That way, I don't have to worry about losing this thing going down the road or something. And, uh, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. That's what we're working with. 1,600 cubic inches, cubic feet. Uh, normal capacity, 1,500 feet. Anyway. I already greased this, then greased my entire trailer. I even got another video that I got to put together by checking these right here. This one, I'm probably gonna end up replacing the seal on that because it's it, it needs to be replaced. Give me another pin to go right there. That valve works fine, it closes fine, so the air is coming from somewhere else. I already checked my hoses. My hoses are good. Checked all four of those. Checked my tires, greased everything. Sprayed anti-seize on, on some of the other spots and stuff up in, in there. And that's another thing, wanna make sure all these right here are good. It's good to check these from time to time. That's why it's very important to wash and clean your truck so you can see if there's any difference in anything, any, any parts are missing, see like this right here. But that's good, just in case uh, something crazy happened. You didn't want this banging into your tire. But that's on there good, properly mounted, mounted and secured. Mud flaps, all properly mounted. Ooh, let me leave that one. Uh, properly mounted and secured. Make sure I don't be pulling on that. Tear that up anymore. Everything is mounted and secured including my metal pipe going up underneath it all the way to the the last bottom drop I got same thing on this side that's good this right here opens just fine closes this other one is actually seized up pretty bad and really to be honest I need WD-40 what? Is it turning? What? It's turning. Well, if I figure I put the MCs on it, let it sit for a little bit, it'll it'll get back to working. Anyway, I'm not really worried about that. Same thing on this side. Check those out. All of those are in good condition. That's what I want. I don't want nothing coming off of this circle when I get to going down the road. These right here holding this pipe on. My holes are in good condition. None of the bolts are broke. Same thing on this side. See any wires missing or frayed. That's insulated pretty good. I don't have any problem with that. So pretty much good all the way around. We greased this, but I gotta go get some more grease. I'm gonna grease it even more. My axles, uh Everything that, need, that needed to be greased back there, I greased it the most because this is an older trailer and it's new to me. So the smartest thing to do would be to go above and beyond and I need to grease this side and I need to grease that other side some more. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Check this side. That's on good. That's on good. I didn't have any leaks anywhere up in here. But I pressured it up. So, uh. That's good. Looks good up underneath here. 
Let's get up underneath here. Oh, that one missing. That one right there is missing. All right. And it's better to have these strips of metal across here because you get more space. Either that or maybe a large size. Uh, let's check and see. Let's check and see what I got in my toolbox. Uh, not in my toolbox, but in my little uh, bolt Tupperware thing. See if I got something I can throw on there. In the meantime, I don't think it's gonna come off or anything. up not fooling with that right now and we'll come back to that later on but at least I know out of all of them all I got one is missing something and I can get a large size of uh, washer I can get a large size washer to go on there the main thing is look at my truck over making sure I'm checking out everything as much as I possibly can I probably just started some some of the grease but of course I ran out of grease see any cracks like, like that right there does concern me because that is a crack so over here on this side that could possibly be, be fixed if I had a uh if I had an industrial strength welder I could fix that myself my check valve is holding. You see the sign, the arrow where it says flow. So I'm supposed to go in one direction. That's why you have to be careful when you're blowing off. And when you shut everything down, you want to make sure that this is holding. The way you know that this is holding, you won't have any back pressure. You won't have nothing going back. Because if you're not careful, if you pressurize the tank and you leave the wrong valve open, the sand will come back back through here and plug your blow off and it'll tor torpedo your blower. Now that's three grand, three, four grand, depending on where you get it from that you gotta go get again. So keep all that stuff in mind. I try to keep plenty of extra everything. Plenty of extra everything that I could possibly think of. Uh, I, I want me a box right here. So I'm end up taking that exhaust port off. My bad. Uh, my inlet for my air coming in, the air comes in through there. Air comes through here, there's a little screen in there to keep rocks and stuff from getting out supposedly. Goes down through there, comes up underneath, goes through here and gets shot up. I'm not taking that off. Gets shot up out through here, through that hose which would be connected to here. The pressurize. Pressure goes one way, just like the sign says. The arrows point this way. Pressure comes around. You can do one of two things. You can blow pressure directly, or you can pressurize your tank. Coming up here with it open, going that way, with this right here closed. This is your bleed off. Open that up to bleed your, your pressure off. Close it to close it off. Now you have to have the air going somewhere. Your pop off is up there. So it's pressure pressurizing the top of the tank, pushing the product down. Come here, open that up, open one of your 
whichever one you choose to blow off. Uh, open it up about halfway, start blowing the product, and that's pretty much it.